Hello, hello, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Jai and this is Tara with Jai. Oops, oops, single. Ooh, who, who newly single? Who about to be newly single? So hello Capricorn. So the single card wanted to come out. So some of you guys could be newly single or some of you guys could be leaving the connection. We'll see. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to your love and intimacy reading. Okay, I do want to say this is a general reading. So please only take what resonates and do not let it take from you. Um, if this video does not resonate, go ahead and go check your sun, moon, rising and Venus to get a full free reading here on channel. And if you want to know where those those other signs will be posted, Check the description box below that has all of my, um, has all the schedules for this week for the signs. It will change depending on whose season it is and their sister sign will be posted that day, the first day and so off and so forth. Okay. So while you're in the description box below, if you guys want to follow my Instagram, go right ahead. My Instagram link is in the description box below. Do not trust these scammers. Do not trust these chickens. My Instagram is linked in the description box below. I just started it and I just opened it. Okay. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, go ahead. My booking website is down there as well. If you guys want to see why I read Intimate Tarot um, and how I love to read Tarot, go ahead and check that out, okay? If you guys want to send me love offerings, donations, anything else like that down there as well, okay? Everything's in my description box. Just take a couple seconds. It takes a couple seconds to do so, okay? So thank you guys so much and may it come back to you 100-fold. And so let me just finish shuffling. Oh my goodness, my intros have been under two minutes for the last couple of videos, which I think that's how I'm going to be doing that. I just got that epiphany of how I should start my intros in the morning. <laughs> this morning, excuse me, when I'm, when I'm recording this video. And so um, there was something else I wanted to say to you that I said to everybody else. Oh yeah, how I'm going to be doing this reading. So I will be doing this reading and speaking of it as you're already in this connection. So you could definitely already be in a connection. But for my singles who are watching, think of this as a way of manifestation, okay? If this speaks of a relationship that you want or the energy of the relationship that you're already in or going to be in, then take it. Again, if it doesn't, go ahead and check out your other placements. That will give you a full scope of everything. Again, take what resonates. If you guys want to take notes, go right ahead. I'm not mad at it. Do what you need to do, okay? I'm just here delivering the messages that wants to come out. So let's just get to this started. So all the decks I am using are going to be listed in the description box below. I won't say linked because I will forget while I'm editing and then uploading and then making sure the thumbnails are right. And I also have another daytime job, so you know. Um, so, whew, let me breathe. Let me take a sip of my drink, 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 drink. And let's just get into your reading Capricorns, okay? Let's see what's going on with my Cappies. Control. Assert yourself and take control of, take charge of your destiny. So I see Capricorns in their emperor energy, huh? Y'all in your emperor energy taking control of what's going on, taking that horse by the rails and bringing it back, okay? Nay, okay? Let's see. Five of arrows. Five of arrows. There's something that, okay. There's something that you're not 100% clear on. Maybe that's what you need to take control of. What you're not very, where you, what you're not clear on. The five of arrows. It just seems to be some things, a lack of detail here on why something is happening. Six of wands. Oh, this seems to be, okay. There seems to be some miscommunication here. Six of wands. Someone just showing you attention. But you're not understanding it. Your person is not, you're, you're not understanding it from your person. I can definitely tell you that right now. Your person feels as though that they're not, or then are they not understanding your love language? Is that what it is? The work, oh, okay. Capricorn. You know what? And we did see single pop up in the intro. You're not the only sign that had this message. Um, <laughs> Cappies, are you... Ooh, Capricorn, are you ready to leave a relationship? 
<laughs> this is only this is gonna be for some cappies. I do see Capricorns. You guys, are you guys ready for a a, a new start? Are you guys ready to be single? <laughs> And I don't want to wish this on anybody. I don't want you to end a relationship because because I'm say so. You know, tarot is free will now. Okay, let's just remember that. But Capricorns, this feels like, huh? I wonder, are, are you guys ready for a new phase in your relationship? Or are you guys just ready to be single? I mean, we'll answer that when we flip over the rest of the cards. But with the world card here, this just feels like a completion and you want a new start. Let me see. Cause I, let me just continue the story. Let's continue. With, let's go on with the story. Cutting. Oh, my God. Who are you cutting off? Eight of coins. Oh, you have. Uh, oh, eight of coins. <laughs> you been, uh, is, is this the connection that you're in right now? Like, because the eight of coins tells me that you've been putting effort into this. You've been putting effort into this connection. And you've been actually putting effort into trying to cut this off for a while now. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's be honest. The Capricorns, you know what I'm talking about. You're trying to cut something off that you've been trying for a while now. Three of Swords, you're not satisfied at all in this connection. Three of Swords, you... <sighs> something is getting lost in translation. And I'm wondering if you've been telling your person the signs, if you've been giving your person signs, if you've been giving your person what needs to be said. What needs to be done and they're not listening. You've been trying to put in effort, but it feels like your efforts are being wasted. The tower. Oh, yeah. The tower. Yeah. You feel like your efforts is being wasted. And I see why you don't want to be now. Now, with the eight of coins, I can tell you that that you've been putting effort. You just didn't like come one day, just woke up and chose violence. No, you've been doing this for a while now. I, I, I just see you not wanting to waste your time no more. You really not wasting your time no more with this person. You're not. I, let's just continue. Let's just continue. I don't want to hold you guys up. I'm just, I'm trying to find the words, but the words are just not coming out, nor there, I don't think there's words to speak. So, oh, Capricorns. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Capricorns, you're ready to just leave this relationship behind. I just don't know what else to say. You're this person that you're with right now, ain't it? It's not it. That it's not. I, 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 just, I, just, I just can't emphasize that enough. And it just feels like I'm, I'm keep beating the same nail over and over again. Like, you just don't want to be in this relationship. And the fact, and it's so funny that the eight of coins is someone beating something. Like, yeah, you've been trying, so you've been trying for a while, haven't you, Capricorns? To try to beat into them that you don't want this relationship no more. I just see you guys leaving. I do. I do. Four of, you need your peace. The four of arrows, you need peace. And you're looking forward to this peace. Five of swords again. Maybe they, maybe they cheated on you. The five of swords tells me that there is a lot of things that you are not aware of, that you need some details with. You're just leaving. The strength card, you're gathering the strength to leave. And it's so interesting that we have no cup cards. Your emotions have been left. 
a while back, Capricorn, and I can see it as clear as day. Your emotions have just left this whole connection. And you, it's, it's been left for a while. Oh, Capricorn, you're cutting them off. <laughs> you are cutting them off. You are breaking up with them. You are separating from them. You are divorcing them. Whatever. Take it how it resonates. I just don't. Wow. Yeah, you're focusing on yourself. Nurture. Self-love is essential. A time to address your needs and ground yourself. You're worried about yourself now. You've been trying to make this relationship work. You're ready to be single. You're ready to separate from this connection. And you're ready to focus on you. Focus on new love that's ahead. But right now, it's all about me, 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 me. Forget about you, 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 you. So what you gonna do, 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 do? How you gonna get it up, get it up? Me, 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 me. Go ahead, Maya. It's all about me. Ten of Cups. You're worried about you and your family. Now, if you have kids with this person, it's going to be you and your kids. But you're worried about you and your happily ever after. And with this person, you know for a damn fact you're not going to get that at all. Let's not even let's not even cap. You're not even going to get this. You're not going to get this happily ever after with this person. You know, I'm hearing that Jay Nova song, Where Have I Been? That song, and Jay Nova just came out with an album called Where Have I Been? Let me, let me, let me show you. And it's a narrative album. I love the storytelling. Um, yeah, Where Have I Been? This one right here, Capricorn. Let me make sure you guys can see it with no glare. Yeah, this album right here. I love the album, by the way. I love it. Um, this song specific, the specifically, where is it at? Yeah, Where Have I Been? Listen to this song by Jay Nova. By Jay Nova. Justice card here. This was meant to happen. This person is literally leaving you. Not leaving, excuse me. This person has been doing you wrong. And not from like an infidelity standpoint, but not giving you the love that you've been giving them. The star card, yeah. You're looking forward to your new to the new in your life. You're being positive. You're enjoying the newness. In your life. You wanted to. You're looking forward to the newness in your life. But you have to get rid of the baggage. That's been really holding you back. Yeah I called you the person baggage. Because the way that this energy is right here. It is. You've been carrying them on your back for so long. They don't want to lift up their feet. Sexual union. A strong passionate physical connection. I wonder if this is a new person. Well let's see. Let's pull the cards first. The Transformation. Nine of cup. Oh, this is a new person. Oh, pick up, Is that what it is? Y'all about to get down with somebody new? Nine of cups transformation. What's this card? High priestess. Only in a matter of time. That's divine time. Look, look how he's arching your back. The mating call. <laughs> this seems like a new person that you're gonna have strong, passionate with. This person is waiting. You're waiting for this person. High priestess energy. Oh, I see. You cutting off this person, focusing on yourself, and then this person comes in. Nine of Cups, someone that you actually want. Someone that's actually going to reciprocate what you gave to this person that didn't even deserve it. You know for a fact they didn't. Some of you guys, this was a childhood sweetheart that you thought she was going to be forever with. What's that song by Jasmine Sullivan? Jasmine Sullivan? Forever doesn't last too long. Forever. Doesn't last too long these days. And I tried to believe that we could make it, but trying it worse. Well, I just had to say that forever. Doesn't last too long these days. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Mm hmm. The book. Yeah, use your intuition. The high priest is here. Especially with this whole situation, moving on to someone new. And I love how literally we have this realizing the big situation here. And you have you here and this new person here is only a part of it that's going to realize over time. And you gaining more knowledge of what really is that you want in a relationship. 
not just what the whole world wants or social media things or what. No, it's really knowing what you want in a relationship. The high priestess is here knowing that intuition. And you're trusting your intuition when it comes to this person that you have such a passionate energy to. The You're manifesting. Yeah. The magic here. You're manifesting it. But for, for this manifestation to come in, you have to get rid of something to make room for. You got to get rid of a big old energy so another big energy can come in. Ooh, Capricorn, the hanged man here. But it's also the questions of, you know, with the, high, with the hanged man here, it's always the question of when is this manifestation going to come in? It's going to come in in divine timing. <laughs> the high priestess, when I hear, when I see intuition, I think of high priest, I think of divine timing. And we're always asking, oh, when's divine timing? Honestly, we never know what divine timing is. We never know. We don't. But I see, but divine timing, when you actually are with yourself and actually on that path of self-love more and more, regaining, re, and it's not even like, oh, like it's not even that you don't love yourself in the situation. No, it's leaving this connection and regaining the love that you wasted on this person to yourself Bringing that power back, bringing your love back to you so you can give it to someone else. And it's some reason that spirit is saying, like, once you regain all that love that you wasted on this person up here, that's when that this person is coming. The person that actually will reciprocate, the person that you actually have been manifesting and wanting. The moon card here. Yeah, there's the mystery about it. Yeah, you don't know when this will happen, but that sign of you literally taking back your love, gaining back all the love that you wasted. Mm. Powerful, ain't it? Let me pick some more cards here for my Mystic Love Oracle deck. Ooh, show me Capricorn, show me Capricorn. Lord have mercy, Capricorn. I mean, tell your truth. Tell your truth, Capricorn. Tell your truth. And you know what? Well, this is this tarot, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's all free will. But what you are giving me, a lot of you guys already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a lot of you guys already know what I'm talking about. And if this does not resonate with you, go check your other placements. This is only for a specific group of Capricorns. Because like I said, you, Capricorn, already know what I'm talking about. Whether you are in denial or you already know. Could be with an air sign. You could be leaving an air sign behind. We did get a lot of air. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four arrows. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Earth sign here. Somebody could have air or earth sign placements. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This Capricorn, this could be you. Earth sign here. They've been fucking, yeah. I mean, yeah, you guys have had sex. I definitely see that. I definitely see the soul tie here, especially with sex. But that soul tie, child, crazy as hell. It's crazy that you stayed in this relationship. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> crazy as hell that you, crazy as hell you stayed in this relationship. Divorce. Separation and breakup. I, I just, so, Capricorn, What? I'm done. Capricorn, you see it. You see it. You see it. Capricorn. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this, go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the royal court. We'd love to have you here, okay? We would love, 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 love to have you here. Um, guys, make sure you guys, if you feel called to, take a couple seconds to go check out my description box below that has the link to my Instagram where you guys can follow. I ask that you please follow it. I just made it. Um, if you guys want to book your own personal reading, my, um, my booking website is below. That's the only way you can book a reading with me legitimately. Um, if you guys want to read up on me, read up on any information, if you guys want to donate any, send love, love offerings, anything else like that. Um, may it come back to you 100 times fold. If you do, I'm 100% grateful. But if you're leaving me here, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Capricorn. You already know what I'm talking about. And if <laughs> you already know, 
like I always say, stay confident. You are powerful. Do not let your crown fall. Why? Because you are royalty that rules over all. See you, Capricorn.